Hey. Depression be building the flesh and the spirit be battling. I gotta stay awake. Can't lose my faith, cause that's all that I gotta be sending. It's time that I change my ways. Repentance is all on my mind. I gotta stay righteous. I'm taking it day to day. Stay strong in the battle. I fight. I wanna do right. Ain't no time to play it safe. I put on that armor, God. Commandments gon' keep me alive. We fighting them demons. My spirit on defense. I do what I do to survive. I took some wins and some losses. I know God don't walk this repent or I die. The kingdom stay all on my mind. Stay in them scriptures. I've been on the ground. Uh, yeah, how will be taking me further? How much stays in your pocket? But now if it's the other way around, if you come in to get employed, and are they telling you what time to come home? What time to be at work? How much you gonna take home and share with your family? You get what I'm saying? That means now we the tell. So what I'm bringing out in these scriptures is. So let me ask you a question though. Go ahead, sir. You, how do we move from the tail to the head? How do that's we what, move? Just, that's just, a, by, just by God giving us that, that's not that's not the only way. How do we do that? As, that's a, as brothers? That's, a, that's a great question. Say it again. How do we do it? Let's let's bring that one out. How do we do it? We're we, we going to prove it through the via scriptures no, because we believe. Prove, no, don't give me a just, nah, it's no, not, not about proving. That's how, we, that's how we skillfully answer questions. We love to support our answers with the, the scriptures. Only time we have to prove something is when I deny it. When you I'm deny it? I just want some more. I, want, I, I just want some, some I, read a, I read a scripture. I want some light. That, that, that instructed me as a man and told me all to right. prove all things. All so right. If I want to tell something, I have to prove it as well. That's right. First Corinthians chapter 7 and what? 14. And 14. So hold on. Let's get you can get Deuteronomy 28 and um 15 and then one. They can't say what that is. 28 and 15. First I'm gonna show you how this happened, and then I'm gonna show you how to flip it. Read it again. Because you, you came right after I said it. The book of the book of the book of Deuteronomy to the 28. And verse 15. Bring it out. But that shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken. If thou wilt what? Wilt not hearken. Read on. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe. To do all his commandments. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. That all these curses. You shall be the tail. That all these curses. That you're going to be working 40 hours. That all these curses. That you don't really get the chance to sleep because you're working. That all these curses. Shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. So it's going to catch up to you and you have no control over it. Now let's go to verse. Want to bring that out? Yeah. All right. All right. We're going to support that with one more scripture. But that's how, that's how you become the tail. That's how we got in this tail position because we did not listen to the father when he gave us certain instructions. Right now, you listen to the King no, I mean, James. I mean, I mean the group here. What, what, we, what is this? Hebrew Israelites or tribe of Benjamin or? No, um, we, are, we, are, we are all 12 tribes. We are the, the children of Israel. That's who you're hearing it from. Right yes. We have a very good understanding of yeah. that. I got to go pick my jit up, but I, I commend what you do. So I'm just going to tell it to you then. The flip side is to start listening to the Heavenly Father so he can set us on high. We've been put here because our ancestors, our forefathers before us, walked away from being a nation of people and they decided they wanted to follow the heathens they wanted to be you know have a white god and do what they do they and this is what ended up happening instead of being the servants of god they want to serve the other nations the scriptures speak on that if that's our freedom working all that time i'd rather be a, a child of god because when god provides for you he's going to make you the head when we walked away and let them provide they made sure we the tail so that's the flip side to it, brother. You have to come back to your nation and to be a king because they're never going to treat you like one. That's right. You're going to go over there and always be a peasant. Right. Uh, I hear that. Yeah. All right, listen, Yo, I get his brother a flyer. Somebody get his brother a flyer. We got one last scripture for you. You got it ready? Let me get a flyer. Get his brother a flyer. What's your name, brother? Tito. Tito, Captain Elia from the light of Zion. And, but you can call me Lion Paul. Lion Yeah, here it is. The book of Second Chronicles. Chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it out! If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves. So the scripture is saying if my people. He's not speaking to everyone. My is possessive. You understand what I'm saying? It's like saying these are my shoes. Like yeah, those shoes all on this room. But these are mine. So this is how the heavenly father is speaking of us. Read on. I mean from the top. The book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 7 and 14. Bring it out!
if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. And turn from their wicked ways. We have to acknowledge that we're not following the scriptures to the best of our ability and that we want to strive to do it. You know what I mean? And the best way to start is on the Sabbath day, brother. Just come in on the Sabbath day, man. We have a lot of high holy days that's very great and very sparkly, but start with the Sabbath day. I think you might agree on this last note as I leave you, because I got to pick my son up, right? Lay it on me. That flesh mm -hmm. is a real motherfucker. Talking that about the dietary, no, the that, food. No, no, not oh, about okay. the food. The, the flesh temple, itself. The body, the temple. That flesh itself and that evilness make you want to do things that you're yeah, not man. supposed to be Matthews, doing. Matthews, um, 26. But you 26, know 26, everything, 40, man. I'm done with you. 41. Man. I'm All done right. with you, man. You know everything, man. No, no, no. I'm nobody, man. Nobody, man. man. I, I'm just supported by the right, Father, man. Let me just give you one thing before I leave from here. Family, love, man. Yeah, I'm just supported by the Father. I'm nobody but a I servant. Did, and listen to me. I don't stop usually mm -hmm. for people, but you catch me here. I appreciate you, brother. All right. All right, let's get that, brother. The brother said that the flesh, I thought he was talking about, like, the ox, the ox, the goat. But you're, you're talking about the temple. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, we got the scripture. Read that up. The book of Matthew, chapter 26, and verse 41. Bring it out. Watch and pray. Do what? Watch, Watch and pray. pray. Do what? Watch, Watch and, and pray. pray. Read on. That he enter not into temptation. Read. The spirit indeed is willing. What? The spirit indeed, indeed is willing. Read on. But the flesh. But the what? But, but the, the flesh. But the what? But, but the, the flesh. Read on. Is weak. Is what? Is, is weak. weak. So we can't rely on our flesh. Our flesh is weak. But spiritually, we are built up. We are rich as a nation. But we have to tap back into that. And the only way that we can do that is via the scriptures. Matter of fact, hold that. Let's get Psalms 133. Let's bring out Psalms 133. The only way is you got to go back to these scriptures and start to deal with the Father face to face. Read them scriptures and let that book look at you. And filter yourself through it. Let me get the book of Psalms, chapter 133, and verse 1. Because these scriptures do something. How can I say it? I don't want to say it. I'm looking for a word. Magical is in my head, but I'm not using magical. These scriptures... These scriptures does something majestic when you start to apply them. <laughs> Thank you. I, I didn't want to say magic, but that, that's all. I know it is. <laughs> it's extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Extraordinary. There we go. I'm going to start over. So these scriptures, when you apply these scriptures, it does something extraordinary. Something extraordinary starts to happen. And it actually, that's uh, performing in front of your face today. I ain't sin. Ça passe, man. Ça passe, man. Man, Vim Palo. Vim Palo. Vim Palo, man. Come over here. Get over here. No, come, no, right now, man. All right. Oh, you got that up? Yeah. Let's see what this extra extraordinary event happens when you apply these scriptures. The book of Psalms, the 133 and verse 1. Bring it out. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is. For brethren to dwell together in unity. So one thing that starts to happen is shalom. You're going to get straight shalom. What does that word mean? It means in English peace. There's going to be peace. Okay? If you look amongst these brethren right, right here, we're united as one. There's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight bodies out here. But we're united as one on one mission and one mind. As the scriptures written. This is something beautiful that happens. And it yeah, yeah. Gotta move in the speed, Gotta move in the speed.